trying to fill in a lot of the, the steep stuff and get more of a gentle slope on the pond. Afternoon, I like to go down the pond or one of our fields. I mean, we do have a decent farm here. Move some dirt, cut some earth, knock some trees down, have a little fun. I like playing with my talking toys. So, this afternoon, we got done a little bit early. I'm going to head down here to the pond and film kind of what we're doing so people can know what we're doing. And uh, y'all can follow along as we make progress on it. First, we got to get there. It's about a quarter mile away from town. You can see this drainage ditch that I've built right through there, and that goes right into the pond. I got another ditch, shallower, lower grade. It's about a two percent slope, one and a half, two percent slope it comes through here. And I'm trying to rework the edge. The idea being that I have a lot of trouble mowing the grass around the pond. It's too steep trying to fill in a lot of the, the steep stuff and get more of a gentle slope on the pond. This way I can mow it a little bit easier. It's not one of these things that I'm trying to get done in a day. Uh, this pond's 20 years old. It's got some nice fish in it. Um, this is just more of a afternoon play for me. So uh, I'm gonna get up here and move some dirt. One of the things I'm really interested in is the dam, back slope of the dam is so steep we can't mow it. So you can see I've taken taken about three feet of dirt out, I'm trying to build basically a path from here all the way back to those woods. And that will help drain water all through here, drain them all down here through this road or this low area in the pond. So uh, what I'm doing with that dirt then is I'm bringing it down here and I'm filling in the back slope of the dam so that it makes it easier to mow. Uh, the dam is stable. I'm not really looking for this dirt to bind with the dam. I'm more looking for it to just provide some fill as I re basically renovate uh, or re-slope the back and make it more gentle. All right. This is hard dirt, so I'm going to have to throttle up, take it out of high gear, start digging. That's Alabama clay and chert right there. Look how, it's, how the rocks are even getting split ground is so hard. You gotta break through it. It hasn't rained here in about two or three weeks. Look how hard that is. It cuts almost like the glass. interested in doing it that fast. You can see how strong this loader is. See that rock right there? That 
split this thing cut that rock right in half this is a tough chain up here so we come through here to the over overflow now you can see what i'm filling in how much i filled in it used to be here uh, filled in all this dirt there and uh, some of it down to about eight or ten feet twelve feet you can see right off the drop off here it's a long way down so basically what i'm trying to do is this area from here here to the left i'm going to try to fill this whole thing so i get a i get an easier slope this is definitely an easier slope because I'm able to drive side turns and sideways on this. One load, 4,000 more to go. This is my relaxation in the evening. I can just get in here and do my thing. Burn a little diesel fuel. So I know it's getting near five o'clock in the afternoon and that's about the time I have my automatic fish feeder set. It'll throw a big wad of fish food out on the pond. We're lucky be able to see the fish hitting it from this far away. Well there it is. I had to zoom way in but you can see the fish hitting the top of the water. That's the fish feeder, that green box looking thing on the dock off to the side. I mean, really, what better view and what better way to relax in the afternoon, watching the sun go down over the trees, looking over this mirror pond. What more could you ask for? So it's about quitting time. It's getting near dark. I'm gonna head back up to the house, but I was hoping, and it looks like it's gonna happen, I always see deer eating on the green fields on my trip back. They're pretty used to me, this clanky machine, so it doesn't spook them too much. If you look up in the upper right corner, you'll see one watching me. So I'm creeping back home, this clankety lankety thing, squeaking and popping. And right up here in front of me is two deer blocking my road. They don't know what to do. They're hoping I'll slide by, but they're kind of in the way. I'm gonna have to just ease up here and they're going to have to move here in a minute. I was thinking I might drive around them, but then I look up here in the field and off to the left, a couple more deer up there munching. So I'm just going to have to ease through there and they're going to have to get spooked a little bit. I'm getting hungry. I want to go home.
This little doe's even bedded down under that little cedar tree. There she goes, she hopped up. Well, about the time I think they're all gone, they just keep going across and finally I got this one little doe right here and she's wondering how I have the audacity to interrupt her afternoon meal. So she just gives me a stare down, but I just gotta keep heading for the house. She's waiting me out and she's still waiting. And she's still waiting. And there they go, finally. Actually, there was about three of them right there. So it looks like we're about, about to the house. We're gonna go up and park this thing by the barn. Call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe.